Hello, everybody. We will be discussing the West Nile virus for Professor Lee's Biology 31. So we'll start off by talking about the taxonomy of the organism. Um, we break it down between each ranking with the mnemonic dope kings play chess on fuzzy green squares. Um, when you look at the beginning of the letters of the rankings, you see why this mnemonic works for this situation. Um, so the kingdom is the Orthoronaviriae. Then we have the phylum, which is Chytrinoviricota. The class, which is Flasiviracetes. The order, which is Amarilloviralis. The family, which is Flaviviridae. And the genus, which is Flavivirus. And finally, the species, which is the West Nile virus. Next, we move into the morphology. Um, the West Nile virus is a positive sense single-stranded RNA virus. Um, it is an arbovirus, which is short for arthropod-borne virus. This means that the virus is transmitted through arthropods, such as mosquitoes. Um, the virus itself is spherical with an envelope capsid that contains the RNA. Um, it is a 45 to 50 nanometer virion while being observed under an electron microscope. West Nile virus is an icosahedral symmetry, uh, which has 60 rotational symmetries and a symmetry order of 120. The genome of the virus is approximately 11,000 nucleotides with a single open reading frame, including two non-coding regions at the five prime and the three prime ends. These non-coding regions will conserve secondary RNA structure that plays a crucial role in genetic rep replication and protein translation enhancement. As stated in the last slide, the West Nile virus is an arbovirus. Um, the main vector for the virus are species of Culex mosquitoes. Some species of ticks have been known to be reservoirs for it as well, but this is more in rare cases. Um, hosts for the West Nile virus include humans and birds, mainly crows. Studies have shown West Nile virus that spreads most efficiently in temperatures of 24 to 25 degrees Celsius with an incubation period of two to six days before people develop any symptoms. The West Nile virus replicates at the site of inoculation. The virus will begin to mature during this phase, causing the pH to become slightly acidic in the beginning stages of maturity and a higher pH in the later stages. Um, during the final stages, however, um, of maturity, major change will begin to occur where the fusion of the lipid membrane with the endocytic membrane begin to release the viral RNA into the cell cytoplasm. The virus will then be translated and processed on an intracellular membrane, which exposes the viral proteins. This will then be uh, replicated, making an abundance of copies of cellular proteins. The structural protein will soon begin to assemble onto the endoplasmic reticulum or the ER, then bud into the Golgi networking. Um, the cell will then travel its way to the cell surface to mature as a cellular enzyme. Then the virus spreads further to the lymph nodes and into the bloodstream. Viral penetration of the central nervous system will cause an increased level of tumor necrosis, which increases permeability to the blood-brain barrier. Um, West Nile virus directly infects neurons, but more specifically, the gray matter of the brain, the brainstem, and the spinal cord. West Nile virus is transmitted by infected mosquitoes, which pierce their needle-like mouth into a person's skin and inject their proteins in the saliva to look for a blood source. Um, mosquitoes are definitely weird to me. I don't like them at all, and I always just think of all the disease they carry. Okay, so the proboscis or the mosquito's mouth needs to pierce the dermal layer of the skin, which it will have to navigate through to find a dermal blood vessel. Um, in order for this process to work efficiently, the mosquito has a liquefying agent in their saliva to help loosen up the skin for easier navigation, so even more weird. <laughs> uh, replication of the virus can be um, 
seen as early as one of one to three days in the dermal layers in the skin in moderate le levels. However, the spread of the virus is known to travel and last up to 14 days, so two weeks. Um, infection in the skin can occur faster or more severe due to the complex enzymes possessed in mosquito saliva. So definitely look out for those mosquitoes. So there are two variations of the virus um, with one strain that affects the Northern American, the Americas, uh, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, while the other strain affects the Sub-Saharan Af Africa region and Madagascar. The main host for the West Nile virus are humans and crows. Um, moderate cases for humans will show symptoms that include a fever, headaches, body aches, vomiting, and diarrhea. These symptoms usually tend to go away on their own within a couple of weeks, however. Um, in rare cases, people can get severe symptoms such as high fevers, vision loss, tremors, coma, or paralysis, which will need to be hospitalized as soon as possible. Um, these symptoms can take multiple weeks or months to recover, but heavily, heavy damage to the central nervous system can be permanent or it can be fatal. Um, birds have also been observed to show neurological, si neurological signs such as loss of coordination, head tilts, tremors, weakness, and lethargy. Um, most birds that actually show signs of being infected have been reported to die within a three-week period. So the West Nile virus can be diagnosed through numerous tests. Um, the IgG antibody seroconversion can be issued in two specimen collections within one week interval through enzyme-linked immuno, immunosorb assay, or ELISA for short. <laughs> um, another test would be an IgM antibody test, uh, which cap also captures ELISA. Um, IgM antibodies will be detected in most cerebral spinal fluid during a patient's clinical presentation. Um, one test can also be through the viral detection by um, reverse transcriptase poly polymerase <laughs> chain reaction assay and virus isolation through cell culture. Okay, so treatment and prevention. Um, currently, there is no vaccine as of April 2021 for the West Nile virus. However, uh, there are over-the-counter medicines and pain relievers that can be used to manage the various symptoms that come from the West Nile virus. Um, it is advised or recommended for adults to use bug spray if they're planning to be outside or they could wear like a long sleeve of flannel or pants, like longer clothes. Um, for children, however, bug spray can be overwhelming and also unhealthy for some sensitive children. So it is advised that they wear clothes to cover them up, including their head or stay inside if at all possible. Um, fortunately enough though, most people who contract the virus will not have any symptoms um, or they'll have very, very moderate symptoms. Um, so one out of five people will develop minor symptoms such as like the fever, headaches, uh, body aches, um, and one out of 150 people will develop serious and sometimes fatal symptoms. So the West Nile virus is definitely something to look out for and um, something to keep in mind when trying to stay safe.